Hello friends and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing a full body tower session. This can be done on the tower or the Cadillac. We are going to be using a rollback bar at the pusher bar and the leg springs. No sprung from below today, no other props needed. So let's get started. up against our crumb post about our straight legs distance away. If you have a hard time sitting up straight with your legs straight, by all means bend your legs and give your, give your pelvis a little bit of wiggle room there. Shoulder blades can be down our back. We're going to take a great big breath to, before we... So we're going to start with our roll back bar. We're going to be about a straight leg distance away from those crumb posts. Shoulder blades are going to be down our back. We're going to take a great big inhale before we start. And a great big exhale. On our next inhale, we're going to start curling ourselves back, tipping back through that pelvis one vertebra at a time. Inhaling about halfway, exhaling the other half. And then the same thing on the way back up. Inhaling for that first half, exhaling the rest of the way. As we're going, just checking in with those shoulders, making sure they're still pulling down our back while we're curling. All the way down, all the way and up. We're going to do two more. Inhaling as we curl, or start the curl down, exhaling to finish. Inhaling to start curling up, exhaling through that toughest spot. And the last one, curling back. And curling back on up. Beautiful. So then we're going to bring our right hand in towards the middle of our bar. Our left arm is going to be out wide to the outside. If you have shoulder problems or you need a little extra support, bringing your hand down onto the mat definitely makes it easier. So from here, we're going to curl ourselves back again, inhaling all the way down this time and exhaling all the way up. We're going to do four on this one side, four on the other side. Trying to maintain that nice deep twist and nice deep curl the entire way down and back on up. We're going to finish this fourth one. Keep reaching those feet in towards your crow pose. When we come back on up, we're going to swap sides. Twisting over, pulling those abdominals in, curling yourself backwards, shoulders down your back. Exhaling all the way up. Getting all nice and tall at the top. We're going to do two more on this side, inhaling down, reaching through those feet, and exhaling up. And one last one. When we come back up to the top, we're going to bring those hands back shoulder distance apart or a little wider. Shoulders are again going to come down our back. We're going to roll ourselves all the way down onto our mat. Making sure that those shoulders are pulling back into our mat and those abs are pulling in. We're going to inhale, we're going to roll that bar in towards our chest for four. Three. Inhaling two. Exhaling. And last one. Arms are going to stay straight, pressing down towards your hips for a chest expansion. Inhaling down, exhaling up. Three. Two. And last one. And then we're going to combine both those moves for four. So rowing in and pressing down for four. Three, two, and last one. Rowing in, pressing down. Awesome. So we're going to roll ourselves all the way back on up. When we come up to the top, we're going to take that far over to one side. Think a side sit-up motion, not just the leaning over. You're going to curl yourself down that side of your body, right across those shoulder blades. Keep those hips nice and square, rolling up the other side. Holding that side, we're going to curl back down, across the shoulder blades, and up the other side. Inhaling for that first half to roll down. Exhaling to come back on up. Inhaling down, exhaling back and up. We're going to do one more set, rolling back and over. 
and rolling back to the side, same side that we started on, so we're nice and even. When we come up to the top, we're going to bring our right hand back into the middle. We're going to bring our left hand over top of it, and we're going to go down for a side bend. So curling ourselves all the way down onto the mat. We're going to bring that left hand up over our head. We're going to side bend over towards our right side of our mat. We're going to bring our left foot over to meet across over our right foot and have this really big side bend, this really big side stretch. Really breathing into that rib cage. Sorry, I got a little bit of a cold still lingering, so if I sound a little nasally or sniffly when I'm talking or breathing, I apologize. We're going to have this last big breath here. And when we're ready, bring that foot back over towards this curl and pose, straightening out our upper body, hand over hand, and then rolling ourselves all the way up that one bird right at a time. When we come up to the top, we're going to switch what hands in the middle, rolling ourselves all the way back down. Bring that right hand up and over, side bending over towards the right side, having that big deep breath over here. Have that last big breath, and then when we're ready, sending that foot back over towards its curl pose, straightening out that upper body, hand over hand, rolling yourself all the way on up. When we come up to the top, we're going to use this bar for our hundred. So, the way I like getting into this is holding on to the inside of the bar, swinging my legs around the outside, and then switching my hands to the outside. There's definitely a prettier way of doing it, but I got really long legs, so I go for the easier way. <laughs> so Shoulder blades can be down our back. We're going to bring our legs to up into either a tabletop or straight up towards the ceiling today. We're curling our head and chest on up, and from here, press that belly button down towards your spine. Feel nice and long, and then we're going to pump for a hundred. Inhaling for our five pumps, and exhaling for our five pumps. Squeezing those legs in towards each other. If they start to feel a little heavy, by all means, bend them. If ever you need your head down, I would recommend softening your knees just so then it's a little easier to keep the arms pumping. We're about halfway. Checking in, making sure that you've got room between your chin and your chest and you're feeling long. We have two more big breaths. Last big breath, curl up a little higher just because we can. And coming back on in. Awesome job. So we're going to get out of there. So again, you can either tuck the legs through the, um, between your arms or my favorite way, holding on, swing my legs around the outside. Not pretty effective. <laughs> we're going to tuck that far back behind us because we're not going to use it again. And then we're going to turn ourselves around and then do some light springs. <clears throat> so, for our light springs, we're going to be about our arms distance away from our curl pose. We're going to put both those springs on our feet, holding on to those chrome posts, pelvis is pressing down in towards the floor. So when we're here, abdominals are pulling in, I have a tendency where I want to almost pop my ribs outwards when I'm trying to activate my back, so if you're like me in that sense, make sure you've got that activation through those upper abdominals the entire time. That can be helped by thinking about pushing the bars up towards the ceiling or pulling them back towards you like you're gonna do a lat pull down. So squeezing those legs in towards each other. We're gonna inhale as we send them away. Exhale as we pull them back on up. As we're lowering and lifting the legs, making sure that we're keeping our spine nice and neutral, nice and strong. It's not arching anymore as we go down. It's not extent, uh, curling anymore as we go up. And I always like to remind people that as we're lowering and lifting, and while we're trying to keep our spine neutral, 
Um, think of it as the structure of the spine, like the actual bones of the spine. You will feel your back muscles change as you lower and lift. So for example, as I lift my legs, I have to use my lower back muscles more to make sure I don't just tuck and fall underneath. So you will feel that activation in, in those muscles, um, but making sure the, that the actual structure isn't changing. For the longest time, I was trying to make sure that the feelings I had on the mat didn't change, and that's totally different. <laughs> So when we come up to the top, we're going to switch to some scissors. So we're going to send one leg down, and then we're going to scissor the legs to switch. As we're doing your scissors, again, trying to make sure our pelvis isn't shifting. I often don't like it when people hit the mat um, for that reason, because usually when we hit the mat, we try to push on the mat to try and bring your leg up a little higher, which causes a shift in our pelvis. If we keep the foot just hovering, then we don't need to worry. We're going to do this last set of our scissors, so getting yourselves feeling nice and even. We're going to bring our both those legs up towards the ceiling, feeling nice and long through your spine, still nice and long through the legs. We're going to open, circle, squeeze at the bottom and back up the middle. Again, trying to keep that structure really nice and still. Those abdominals and those ribs nice and active. We're going to do two more circles in this direction, pressing out nice and wide. The last one. When we come up to the top, we're going to reverse. Again, inhaling for that first half of the circle, exhaling back and together. And checking in every now and then that you're staying connected to those arms, your shoulders are still pulling down your back and they're helping you stay active from head to heels. We're gonna do two more circles in this direction, feeling nice and long. And last big circle. When we come back in, we're gonna bend our legs in, we're gonna have those heels together, toes apart, we're in our frog position. We're gonna press out through those legs, Exhale, pull back in. Inhaling, pressing. Exhale, and pull it back on in. If ever you need pauses in between the moves for your leg springs, feel free to pause the video or take little micro breaks. The stamina will definitely build over time, so don't worry. Get three. Inhaling two. Last one, pressing out. We're gonna stay out, so keeping those legs straight, but still turn it out. We're gonna clap those heels together for our four counts, and crisscross one in front of the other for our four counts. Inhaling two, three, four. Exhaling two, three, four. Inhaling, clap, two, three, Four, exhale, crisscross. Two, three, four. And our thighs burning. We're gonna have two more rounds here. The last one, clap. Two, three, four, crisscross. Two, three, four. Awesome job, bending back on in. We're going to take those springs off of our feet, and then we are going to do some push through bar. So we are going to hook up our push through bar. I've got two spring options. I've got a heavy spring and then a medium spring. So I'm going to hook up my heavier spring or a full spring, 
And then we're actually going to lay ourselves back down the same sort of distance that we were from the pushy bar or from the crow pose before. The ideal measurement is that our shoulders are stacked underneath our wrists. Shoulder blades are going to be down our back, and we're going to do some abdominal work to start. So abdominals are going to be pulling in, belly button's pulling in, feet about hip distance apart, heels pulling in towards your glutes. So have a little hamstring curl. Those legs aren't just dead there, okay? Shoulder blades down your back, and then when we're ready, nod your chin towards your chest, look towards those legs, curling yourself on up, and curling yourself back down. We're going to exhale, curl, inhale, lower. We're going to do two more like this. And last one. Nice little head floats. And we're going to bring our legs up into a tabletop. We're going to hold our head and chest up, so pulling those abdominals in nice and strong. And then from here, we're going to inhale lower, toe tap, lower, toe tap. So alternating legs. Inhaling for one, exhaling for the other. Or if you'd like a little faster, inhaling for two, exhaling for two. We're going to do two more sets, so two more on both sides. Once you've done that last one, we're going to reach the leg out instead, back on in. Feeling nice and long through the back of your neck. Abs are super engaged. We're going to do this last set. Get yourself feeling nice and even. Glue those legs together. Inhale, reach both legs away. Exhale, pull both in. The lower you go, the more challenge you're going to have. Inhaling, reaching. Exhaling, returning. Two more. Last one. Awesome. So we're going to return our head back down onto the mat. We're going to bring our bar in line with the chrome pose. And then we're going to scoot yourselves away so then we can have those arms nice and straight. Legs are going to be nice and straight. Squeezing together, abdominals pulling in, shoulder blades down our back. And we're going to do our teaser. We're going to do three plain teasers and then we're going to do some tricks at the top on the fourth one. Shoulder blades are going to be down our back. We're going to take a great big inhale all the way up and a great big exhale all the way down. All right, reverse that. We're going to take a great big inhale to prepare. Exhale all the way up and inhale all the way down. Sorry about that. So great big inhale now. As we start exhaling, those elbows are going to bend. Arms are going to come straight. You're going to lift your chin towards your chest. Look towards those toes. You're going to lift yourself up into your teaser. And then inhale as we curl ourselves all the way back. Lengthening out those ribs. And pushing the bar down and through. And then again. Exhaling. Inhaling. Last plain teaser. So then we're going to add on our tricks at the top. So we're going to do four elbow bends and extends. Ideally, the bar is going to come behind your head. Um, if it's coming on top of your head, don't worry about it. It's just based on the height of your teaser. Just don't smack yourself on the top of the head. I've seen it done before. It's not fun. Then we're going to do four leg lower lifts, and then we're going to come back down. So four elbow bends, four leg lower lifts, and then return. So take a great big inhale. On that exhale, curl yourself on up into your teaser. Four elbow bends and extends. One. Two, three, last one, four, keep tall, inhaling lower, exhale lift, last one, lower everything down, and push the bar down and through, good job, we're going to keep one hand on that bar at all times, we're going to flip ourselves over onto our side.
Hip bones are going to be pressing down in towards our mat. Tops of our feet are going to be pressing down in towards our mat too. So we have that openness through the front of the hip and some lift through those kneecaps and the activation through those legs. We're going to pull the shoulder blades down our back, pressing down through those hands, lifting up through our head and chest into this nice big swan. Exhale, curl yourself back down. As you lift yourself up, squeezing the shoulder blades back, feeling nice and tall. Controlling. I'm going to do two more, lifting and lowering. Maintain that connection to the legs, last one. And lowering down. When we come back down, we're going to let those elbows bend. We're going to let that lift our head and chest on up. Exhale back down. If you want to make this bigger, you could go into a full high swan. Letting those elbows bend, lift up, and then pressing up straight. Coming all the way back down with control. We're going to do it two more times, so two more lifts. Whether you're doing a high swan or a modification of it. Last one. When we come back down, we're going to let that bar come all the way up to pose. Sit back if you need a quick cat cow or child's pose moment. Shake it on it. And then we are going to be going into our regular push through. With push through, we're going to bring our feet back up against those front posts. Sitting up nice and tall on our sits bones. We're going to have our arms on or hands on that bar. Okay. We're going to start pushing that bar up towards the ceiling. And then from here, curling yourselves all the way back to bring back through that pelvis. And then pushing the bar all the way down and through. Again, curling yourself all the way back. Pull the blades down your back and all the way up towards the ceiling. As we're going, ideally we're going to keep our legs straight, but again, if you're feeling a little tight through your hips or your back, letting your knees bend definitely does give you a little bit more wiggle room to move. So listen to your body. Just because it's classically correct does not mean that it's the right thing for you. I'm all for breaking all the rules. We're going to do this last one. When we come up to the top, we're going to keep our left hand where it is. We're going to bring our right hand pointed towards our left foot. And then we're going to curl ourselves back. We're going to open our arms up wide into this big twist. From here, we're going to bring that right hand all the way up and over top of our left. And then push the bar down between our feet. Inhaling, we curl ourselves backwards. We reach the arm all the way back into that big twist. And then exhale, circle around to that starting position, pointing our right hand towards our left foot and left arm up to the ceiling. And then again, inhaling, curling back, big twist. Exhaling, hand over hand and push the bar down and through. Inhaling, curling back, big twist. Exhaling, curling forward, pushing up. We're going to do it two more times on this side, inhaling, curling back, big twist, exhaling, hand over hand, push through, inhaling, curling back, big twist, exhaling, pushing up. Last one, inhaling, curling back, big twist, exhaling, hand over hand, push through, inhaling, curling back. Big twist, exhaling, pushing up. Beautiful. So, we're going to take that right hand, point it, put it back on in line with your shoulder. Left hand points towards your right foot. And then we curl back. And again, inhaling, curling back. Finding that really big twist. The left hand comes all the way up and over top of the right. 
Pushing all the way down and through. Inhale and curl in the back. Find that big twist. Exhaling, left hand points towards the right foot. Right hand reaches towards the ceiling. And then again, we curl backwards. Finding that big twist. Hand comes up and over top the other hand, push down and through. Inhale and curling back. Big twist. Exhaling, circling, reaching forward. Inhaling, curling back. Big twist. Exhaling, hand comes up and over top the other hand, push through. Inhaling, curling back. Big twist. Exhaling, circling, reaching towards that opposite foot. Fantastic. So we're going to come on up. We're going to do our cat and our side bend. And then we're going to do a quick chest expansion thigh stretch to finish. So almost there, my friends. We're going to be standing about, or kneeling, sorry, about our arms distance away from the bar. Pulling in through those abdominals, feeling nice and tall through your spine. Shoulder blades are down on our back. Squeeze in with that inner thigh, and then nod your chin towards your chest. We're going to curl ourselves down one vertebra at a time. Keep pressing down through the hands, even as you lower into your cow. And then tucking that tailbone in, press down through the hands still, as you curl yourself up, that one vertebra at a time. So imagining that we're peeling ourselves off of a wall, one vertebra at a time. Arching through that back down the bottom, if that's comfortable to us. Press down through the hands, pull up through those abdominals. Put yourself back on that wall one vertebra at a time. If you can, try to keep your hips stuck over top of those knees. It will make it feel a little bit like you might fall on your face. <laughs> We're going to do one last one all the way down, all the way back up. This ponytail is the perfect height for it to sit right on my face every single time. So I'm just going to a little head flick. <laughs> so we're going to come, to, um, come all the way back and up. And we're going to do four side bends on both sides. So we're still kneeling. We're going to be about our arms distance away. Um, the reason why I have a little less than an arms distance it's because I have a crease in my mat, and if I was a perfect arm distance, I would be right in that crease, and it's just a little uncomfortable. So, again, break the rules as you need. It's no point in being uncomfortable. So, squeezing that inner thigh in towards each other, reaching the arms up towards the ceiling. We're going to inhale, think about lifting up to side bend over. Exhaling, lifting up to side bend up. Inhaling up and over. Exhaling up and up. We're going to do two more. And last one. When we come on up, we're going to turn ourselves around and do the same thing on the other side. So again, about your arm distance away, I've got to accommodate for that crease so that I don't bother my knee. Top arm's going to be reaching up towards the ceiling. We're going to think about going up through our ribs, up through our crown of our head as we go over, up as we come back on up. Great big breaths. And the last one, going all the way up and over, and up and back and up. Awesome. So we're going to unhook that bar and then use our pullback bar one last time to finish off the class. So put that rollback bar back up in front. When you do, just make sure all your clips are nice and straight. Sometimes I find that they like to get a little twisted when we pick them up. For our chest expansion, we're going to be about our arms distance away. I like just a little bit further, just so that I know that I'm not going to hit anything. Shoulder blades down our back, glutes are squeezed, inner thighs squeezed. You know the drill. We're inhaling to press that bar down towards the hips. 
exhaling to come back on up. The goal with this movement is to open up our chest despite the weight, to keep ourselves nice and balanced up and down despite something pushing us down and to make sure that we don't lean backwards. So even though we're bringing and introducing so much resistance at an angle, we're keeping our body nice and solid. We're gonna do two more. And last one. Back on in. So we're gonna take that bar, we're gonna walk back a couple knee steps here. Again, um, for me, or if you have creases in your mats too, um, a little further back gets you more support, a little further forward gives you a little less. And as always, shoulder blades down your back, core is strong, glutes are squeezed, inner thigh engaged, feeling tall, we inhale as we tip backwards, we exhale, come forwards. We're trying to keep our body in as straight of a line as possible. So not sitting back through the hips and not leading through the shoulders. We're going to do one more like this. And we're going to turn it into a back bend. So you can either opt to thigh stretch and then back bend. Or my favorite way is to start the back bend from the top. So squeeze in those inner thighs, squeeze in those glutes, lift up through the chest. Think about pushing your pubic bone forward. So again, tailbone is tucking down, pubic bone is pushing forward and lifting up to get yourself some hip extension. Lifting up through the rib cage, you can tip your head backwards and either come back up from here. If tipping your head backwards puts strain on your neck, keep your eyes forward. You can still bend through your spine. Or you can tip yourself backwards, opening up in the chest. You can keep going. Exhaling back on up as far as you can comfortably go. We're going to do this two more times. Squeezing, lifting, shoulder blades on your back. Last one. Ooh, I know my face is getting red. <laughs> Walking that far back on in. When we come back in, we're just gonna find a comfortable spot on the floor. And then we're gonna inhale those arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, roll ourselves all the way down towards the floor, shaking out anything that we gotta shake out. <sighs> Taking one last big breath down here. Oh, I've got a hair on my pants. And then, and then um, taking that first big inhale, start curling yourself up. Exhale the rest of the way up. Circling those arms around. Fix the hair again. And fantastic job, friends. So that is our full body tower session. Nothing too advanced, nothing too beginner. All just nice casual Pilates. Let me know down below what you liked about this workout or what you want to see more of. Do we want more advanced work? Do we want more beginner friendly work? Or do we enjoy these full body sessions? I'm also going to be adding in lots of upper body sessions, lower body sessions, core sessions that are more, that are shorter. So if you want to add on something more specific to this workout, definitely go check those out. So please like this video if you enjoyed it or if you finished this entire thing. Please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and it helps encourage growth and Pilates for all of you. So I will see you in the next one. Bye.